I'm Amy Babington. I'm the musical director for Harlequin Chamber Choir. We're a chamber choir, so we sing typically a cappella repertoire, uh, sometimes accompanied, sometimes accompanied with instruments, but it's mostly a cappella rep. I think that it's incredibly important to work with singers as singers. So you need to address vocal issues and you need to do that in a warm-up but also throughout the entire rehearsal. So it's not just about learning the notes and the dots and the rhythms and leading them but it's about inspiring them and getting the best sound out of them vocally as possible. So realising the choir's potential as a full choir. Humming, fricatives, everything to connect sound to breath. So if that's happening, you're breathing properly, you're using your voice effectively and efficiently, and you're going to get the best sound. And then as a conductor, you can manage that sound um, optimally. My name is Nathan James and I've been in Harlequin since uh, October uh, 2018 and I'm a tenor. the venue, depending on where we're singing, um, depending on the numbers in the choir, I mean every choir is different but getting that balance is, is key and we very much rely on Amy as any choir would rely on their conductor to, to feed back to us you know, in rehearsal particularly for, for, for a concert um, and, and make sure we get that balance absolutely right. I'm Annalise and I'm in the alto section. I've got a naturally lower voice than a soprano, so we are the second line down, sometimes the third or fourth, depending on how many parts there are in the choir. It's hard to describe what a joy it is in a choir of this standard. Um, I feel so lucky to be in it because it's, it's quite rare to find a group of people who are all equally committed to the end result. and, and who, and because there are so few of us compared with a very big choir, every single person's contribution matters and makes a difference. So there's a mixture of responsibility, which, and I, I quite like that pressure, coupled with this real sense of achievement and reward. Uh, it's a great mix. I only started in October. I found them incredibly welcoming from the moment I walked through the door. Um, they're really strong in communication, so it's not just turning up to a rehearsal every week and then going away and not hearing from everybody. They're such a friendly bunch, so our WhatsApp group, for example, is buzzing all the time, and it's, it's, uh, it's a really fun group of people. So it's as much social about it as about the music, but we know when it comes to the crunch, actually, we're there to make music and to be the very best we can. And and so, uh, yeah, it, that's, that's a, a really good blend, I think. It's a really fun and interesting group of, of singers. So it's very easy to have fun with these guys, yeah. I really enjoyed it. I think it went very, very well. There were a couple of moments where you think, that could have gone better, um, but overall, uh, there were also a couple of moments where I thought that was better than it could ever have possibly been in my wildest dreams. So it's always great to have um, yeah, a satisfying experience on stage and it was certainly satisfying. <laughs>